Good afternoon, everybody. Today we are here at a uh, date packing house. Uh, going to be picking up a 40 foot container. I got Alex behind me back there in the Kenworth. Um, we've been here before to do this, so it's not our first time out here doing this. Actually, it looks like they have this container ready for us. Okay, they already drug it out for us. The whole reason we brought the 12 ton here is because the pass containers were over there in the corner by those other ones and you couldn't get a land all in front of it. Um, so now that it's already here, I don't think we'll need this truck. We'll see though. Let's try that. Yeah. I don't even think it will need you on the side. I'll just back under it and winch it up. Yeah. Winch it up or whatever. Okay, um, we should be all right right now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I need you to get straighter with it though. pick up this corner and just you need to watch me better on the handle I said stop <laughs> it's all right we got the fork here i said stop before it fell off but then it fell off it's all right though no worries i'll just have him straighten it out all right up. Thank you, 
sir. Sorry, it's good there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll just winch it up and you can shimmy it either way. It's okay, no worries. I probably said it too late. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks the same, huh? No, we'll winch it. So, let's probably run the idle up because this one doesn't have a free spool. We'll just have to power it up. Normally chain is pretty frowned upon in these container pockets and I don't like it either that's why we ordered uh, some container links that are specifically designed for this um, but empty container coming up a metal bed won't provide a whole lot of resistance but we'll keep an eye on it. Sucks not having a free spool. It's old. That's why we use it for this stuff. the cruise control on? Huh? Well, you, you didn't have the cruise control on. Yeah, you to, there's a switch that you turn it on and then you hit uh, resume or set or one of them. Why not though? You probably hit the idle bump. One more. Chain's pretty long, should be able to get it. Alright, 
you run the winch. Going the right way? Is it going that way? Alex, go ahead and uh, put the deck down back here. So, four. Other way. That's good. Just to get a little added resistance. Look straight. Look straight. Is it going that way or no? Huh? That back end's working its way over. See it? How it's walking? Watch that hook when it gets up there because it might get caught. What's that? Um, yeah, you can do that. As long as it doesn't get caught. Alright, don't go past that metal, but bring it like two inches before that metal, alright? That's good there, Alex. All right, now what do you do? Hang on. Your, when you tilt, your winch is connected, so you're gonna have to loosen your winch up. Remember my axle's back, right? That's fine, but yeah, you just gotta remember that the tilt's tied into there, so. If you go all the way back, but you did the backwards, you gotta do uh, three first and then two. Oh. But you're fine. As long as you go all the way back, it doesn't really matter. But Tighten your winch up. Just snug it. All right. All right. Go ahead and snug it up. That's good. Okay. Now he's gonna nudge it over. I think to straighten it out a little bit. All right. Just nudge it over a little bit. Thank you. Let's get uh, three straps. because it's moving the front now, so that's fine. We're on. Thank you. About that one and... Okay. Okay. Perfect. Same thing, yeah. I saw your throw, nice throw. Having not all the straps on one. 
Yeah, I mean, I. It, I don't really know. I try to do like alternate, but that'd be alright. Ready?